Today I will be talking to you about Onigiri. I will be showing you the character's customization and what I think about it. So please uh, sit tight and enjoy while I give you my honest opinion about the uh, character customization and yeah, I'll just show you what it is more or less like and welcome. So here we go. We have an average female, average male, and we have young girl, young boy, then slender female, and slender male, and gorgeous, fem gorgeous female here, and a masculine male. As these are all the different body types, from skinny to really muscular to average size slender, as you see here. And some of the proportion size really don't make sense on like the muscular man. You see the muscular man? It's just that face. And then you see that those muscles and it's just giantly ripped, but it's not like gorgeous giantly ripped, it's just like this doesn't look really well done in a realistic way. Uh, if it could be like of a game anime games are never really realistic on a lot of parts it's like the girls with the giant boobs and the guys with the big bicep muscles anyways it just doesn't look nice it, it just doesn't so yeah and I don't know it's just the the shading and the texture with the muscles just it doesn't look really like you know decent like in some animes and games you'll see it and they'll be like oh, okay yeah but you know, like example, we'll take DOA. DOA has improved on that, but um, uh, there's still the nonsense of the boobs, but uh, not as much. But you know, like games like that, it's become a little bit more improved on the mechanics. Anyways, so I will just show you one of the guys' uh, customization things because it's just different body types and one of the females. So here we'll we'll go with. Uh, an average female and we'll go with the faces so here's the faces so you got this this and this some very cutesy some more um, more like realistic uh, a little bit older depending on the age group I like this one it's very cute if not, I, I like this one. So then you could check the eye colors, which I'll go with more of this. And here are the hairstyles. So you got more like hairstyles that look like more shinobi-like, like, you know, tied with little horns or little bows and stuff. And you have some that like this one looks like a little bit Chinese. Kind of like Chun Li in a way. And you got the more long hairstyles. This one's kind of cute. This looks more tomboyish. This one I like a lot because I had a hairstyle particularly like this at one point. And then we have uh, here. Pigtails are quite popular in any MMO or game. So if you like pigtails, well. Here you go. I like the side ponytail thing. This one is another really nice hairstyle. And I like the very flow, lots of volume hairstyle. Like one of my figurines I have from Tales of Exilia. And yeah. So yeah, 
that. I like that hairstyle. And then there's these ones, which this one's nice too. More long hairstyle, short. And then you got these ones. And this one's nice too. Kind of like emo-ish a little bit, but like really nice. So I'm gonna go with this one for our display. And then you have all the colors here. You got some, but they don't give you every color, which I find weird. But I like this shade of purple. We'll go with that. And now here for the clothes, you got this. Basically, there's not much clothes selection. You have like two or three designs of clothes, but then you have different colors. And then you can select if you want to change something in particular of that outfit. Whether it's a, the top or the bottom or the arm, like uh, accessories of the arm and so on forth and the horns. So here we go. So you have this. You have this color. I really like this color, it goes really nice with the hair and her face curves. So this one's really nice. And this color too goes really nice. Also, um, there's this, which is really cool. Heavy skirt armor there. They like, they like to put long bows. You got this, but I feel it would not really ever protect much. And then you got the more shinobi-like. So I'm going to go with the more shinobi-like thing for this display here. And then you have like, if you want to change the horns. I like these horns. the horns and the accessories if you want more say but we'll go with the original and then you could change the top or the outfit but this is overall in one piece so it really wouldn't matter and then you could keep the gloves or you can put other particular certain arm weapons but I'll stick with the, the original gloves same thing with the leg you can have the top and then just like you can put something else but we'll stick with the original design and then you have the voices you have from young to young to cutesy kind of voice uh, to older adult and then to like more aggressive yeah. <laughs> so this is more or less what you would expect from the girl is pretty decent nice so yeah she looks very cute on to the guy we'll go with uh, more we'll go with a young boy looks like a preteen yeah we'll go around like young boy like preteen or younger and we'll go with the faces here Some of them he'll look a little more mature, other you got the big eyes. Boys being too cutesy, I don't like always like too much. Especially if you're going on a battlefield, you're not gonna try to be cutesy really. You gotta be more aggressive or tough. much designs for guys. We'll go with this. This randomly select some eye color. Here we'll go with like this green. And now for the hair. You got that one. This one looks cool. Always envision like badass characters looking like uh, with the hair like evil. And there's this one with the, the print because the uh, what I selected but if you pick a hairstyle and it covers it, it really doesn't matter so you can always change the face go with that I like this also guys with long hair are pretty cool it's, I, I think it, a certain guy just, just suits them well even the ponytail but just the flaw in this game sometimes is that in the back you can have some hairstyles that like the hair just doesn't go up. like it sticks out and it's 
a little bit of a problem. So uh, this should improve on that. And for guys, there's not as much character customization for clothing here and so forth because most of the time it's girl characters or in some of the modes they push it but just just not enough designs and you got the long hair which reminds me of Yuri from Tales of uh, Vesperia so I would say the hairstyle is this one or the cyclone tail thing so we'll go with this And now on to the clothing set. You'll have this. Got that. Then you just, like I said, you have different colors. You have the coat, which I think the coat and stuff with the boots and the heavy arm around his chest is good. You have this, which is really good too. You have different colors and this is nice too and the armor so like let's say if you had this and then again you could change the horns if you want if you don't want the, the one you were given just the color so let's say that and you could change your top if you want let's say if you want the coat you just put this pants and you customize a little bit and then you have the voices <laughs> so pretty much that's all what you can expect and then like I said you got the muscular the muscular gorgeous slender young and average through, like I said, you can't expect too much. This is a free MMO. Some free MMOs have pushed for more designs and character customization. Others, you're pretty much, when it first comes off, you're really just set with what's there for now. And sometimes they'll add more, or sometimes what you have to do is, like, if you want extra goodies, you go buy that. But that's more like particular special things. But if not, maybe there'll be more stuff later on if the MMO does good or gets a really well good hype. Um, I saw this on Crunchyroll and I often tend to explore MMOs, whether it's to play them or show off the designs to give my impression of what I think. And some of them I stick with them for a while and I play them a bit and have a gill and all that. So yeah as so far on the oppression it's not that bad it's decent compared to some mmos that just came out that don't look as decent and there's other ones that are totally just 10 times better so for now for a free mmo the character customization is pretty decent i do hope in the future that they'll fix these little problems with you know hair sticking out that's not there or little bugs here and there and maybe add more customization to the characters whether it's a guy or a female equal rights here and uh, as well maybe uh, just you know um, we'll see what happens uh, I will probably try to do a gameplay vid at one point but I have other vids to work on my channel right now so if you are interested this is my character she looks fairly pretty with her weapon and yeah, I will be playing with her a little bit and seeing how, how it goes. Uh, I'll do a video on that. So if you guys like this, please give it a like, subscribe, and share with people. I have many social networks. I post them up on my YouTube and if you want to have any requests, just give me a shout out. I'll more than welcome to do projects, co-op gaming, MMO playing, and you know, uh, pretty much that. And I'll keep you posted on other videos to come. And uh, you know, I do weekly videos. I'll try to do more and I'll always keep you posted. So if you go to my social networks, you'll pretty much stay informed of what I'm up to and what I'm going to be doing. And so yeah, so take care, peace, and
then uh, have a nice day or a lovely night. Bye bye. So here you go guys. This is me, Vexy Vampire, signing off. And here are my social networks as well as my last video I worked on, which is my top 5 3DS games to look forward to. And there is my Facebook page, Twitter, and my Google Plus if you want to get in touch with me, plus my Tumblr and WordPress. Uh, my WordPress I just got started, so it's nothing post up yet. But if ever you're interested, I will blog and put reviews up there eventually, as well as my Tumblr and Google Plus and other networks if you want to reach me or keep in touch of what things to come and everything. So take care and have a nice day.